So what's up everyone? Oddman105, aka the Odd One here, with another quick money guide on things that you guys can be doing right now to earn millions of dollars in GTA 5 online, even if you only have a couple of hours a day to play the game. Now, everything that we're about to do in this video is not tied to this week's bonus money and special events, so you can do this as many times as you want and you'll earn the exact same amount of cash every time. Now, this money guide is mostly designed for solo players who may not have a lot of time during the week to play Grand Theft Auto Online, but want to earn some really good quick cash within about two and a half to three hours time. So if you're willing to put in the work, you guys can be earning millions of dollars hands down. Now you can do this with crews as well, but if you're running solo, then you're guaranteed to get the maximum possible payout. So with that being said, guys, let's begin. So this won't be a full walkthrough of the Kyle Perico heist finale. However, if you guys want to see a full walkthrough on how to complete the finale while remaining undetected, then check the link in the description down below for my tutorial video. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is begin your money grind routine with the Kyle Perico heist, especially if you're a solo player. And that's because Kyle Perico has a two hour cooldown for solo players. And while Kyle Perico is on cooldown, then you can run any other kind of heist. You can do agency contracts, you can do auto shop contracts, but you can do something else to maximize your time to profit ratio. So all of our secondary loot is here at the main warehouse at the airfield. And as you guys can see, we have two stacks of drywall <laughs> that uh, we're going to steal. Okay, so we're here at the compound. Let's go ahead and murk out this guard right here. He's dead. Let's take out this camera right here. Hey, there's our good friend Juggy. Hi, Juggy. Bye, Juggy. So Juggy's dead. And we'll murk out this guard right here. Okay, we have the gate keys. Now, this point right here, this is one of the most important points uh, of this uh, playthrough. You want to kill this guard right here as he stands in front of the stairway because that will ensure that you won't get detected on the way out. So mark out this guy, just head upstairs and you want to go to El Rubio's office and uh, steal a step out of his wall safe. Okay, mark this guy out. Always check the wall safe. Okay, so we're up to 582,000 to take, so let's go. Time for the primary loot. Okay, so now that we're back in the vault, our primary loot is the necklace. Okay, so now that we have the primary loot, as you guys can see, the alarms are not going off. We're still undetected, and that's largely because we took out that one guard standing near the stairway. Okay, and all we need to do now is GTFO, get the freak out. Okay, so we're back at Sunny Los Santos at Mini Madrazo's place. And check out this payout. So our actual take was 1.38 mil, but remember, we got the Elite Challenge bonus for this, so that gives us an additional $50,000 payout on normal mode. Okay, 
So we're walking away with $1.437 million. I will take that. Let's go. And while Kyle Perico is on cooldown, let's go do a Dr. Dre VIP contract. So here we're finishing up the Dr. Dre VIP contract. And as you guys can see, I took the liberty to stomp a complete and total mud hole in Johnny Guns' butt for making me go through all of this. Well worth it, I might add. And after you finish stomping his face in, what you want to do is pick him up and just drag him outside. And you want to dump him in front of Dr. Dre so that Dre can practice his new golf technique. And that's pretty much it. This contract is a wrap. And this is one of my favorite cutscenes of the Dre contract. And just like that, after about an hour and a half's worth of work, this contract is a wrap. Another one million dollar payout. Let's go. Next, don't forget to take care of your businesses by delivering export mixed goods for your CEO office, which can be completed in less than five minutes for a quick $50,000 payout. And last but not least, don't forget about the excess weapon shipment at your bunker for delivery to ammunition for an additional $50,000 payout. And just like that, bam, $50,000. Contract complete. Let's go. And now, for everyone's favorite part of the video, the numbers. And this will be short and simple because, based on the limited amount of time we had to play today, we only did one Kyle Perico heist, which gave us a payout of $1,437,956 after about an hour's time. Okay? After that, while Kyle Perico was on cooldown, we did a Dr. Dre VIP contract, which gave us an additional $1 million payout after about an hour and a half's worth of work. Okay, that gives us a subtotal of $2,437,956. Now, remember that we took care of our businesses by delivering mixed goods to the docks and delivering excess weapons to ammunition for an additional $100,000 payout. This gives us a grand total of $2,537,956 for about two and a half hours to two hours and 45 minutes worth of work. Guys, don't sleep on this. If you have a limited amount of time to play Grand Theft Auto Online, these are some of the things that you can be doing right now to earn millions of dollars that's not tied to this crappy event week, okay? So just keep that in mind. And with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.